I have been having some of the most challenging couple of months of my life um, as far as my energy and um, you can read all about that on my GoFundMe. Um, but basically what I've really come to realize this week is even when I'm out of energy, even when I'm drained, the only way to escape a visceral experience, the only way to escape that sludgy yuckiness that is um, exhaustion, sickness, tired, all the elements I'm dealing with, dizziness, it's all there and it's not changing. But I've maintained my schedule of teaching classes because these classes, these people give me life. They give me the energy that I don't have. And every day that I get to come and teach classes and impact people's lives is a gift. So regardless of my trials with these breast implants, the physical pain, the emotional stuff, um, you know, I've had a lot of people hit me up and say, well, why did you get implants to begin with, right? You're a cute girl, why did you need implants? I didn't need implants. I was 18 years old. I had just got signed to a major management deal in New York City. I had just competed at Miss Teen USA. And in that world, in beauty, where everything is airbrushed and it's normal for pop stars at 18 years old to get implants, I was being conditioned and positioned to be a pop star and to be um, in pop culture. And guys, this was 15 years ago, right? And I ask you, if you look back in your past from when you were 18 years old and some of the choices that you made, Maybe they got you arrested. Maybe they got you in some trouble. We all make choices. Those choices do not define who we are, and we live with the consequences of those choices. And I actually didn't feel like I needed breast implants, but at 18 years old, if someone were to have offered you as a woman to Let's just say modify your body in some way. Maybe not implants, but what about a breast lift? What about lipo? What about a breast reduction? Because all of the, aside from a breast reduction because of physical pain, those are all for the same reasons as implants. So, you know, it's one of those things, those who cast the first stone is that's all judgment. And if that's where you wanna be, that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. But just know that there isn't anything anyone can say to me to make me feel bad about my decision. Um, I'm so beyond excited that the symptoms that I've been dealing with for the last, let's say 15-ish years, could actually be alleviated by Christmas time because I have been busting my butt to get healthy, right? No alcohol, no um, processed foods, no junk. Like, I'm ready to live, and I appreciate everyone that has donated to the campaign for my surgery because, you know, Ta and I really spent all of our reserves on my medical bills so far. And even though insurance covered a lot, as you know, insurance doesn't cover everything. And even though I can prove the physical pain that the implants are causing because they're pressing on nerves, insurance will not cover it unless they find cancer in my lymph nodes. And I'm sorry, that's not something that I'm willing to wait for, <laughs> you know, to see, oh, well, once I get cancer, then they'll see that they'll actually acknowledge that these implants are a problem. No thank you. I want to be 100% myself. Take them out. And I guarantee you, ladies, I know we have those times that we think, yeah, but I, I, I'd feel so much better about myself if I was 40 pounds lighter. I'd be so much happier if, uh, you know, after having children, I had a lift. I'd be so much happier if, until you can find happiness now, you won't find it through some physical shift. Because I'm not making this about 
it, you know, you need to love your body as it is right now. You need to find that self-love. What I'm saying is that if you don't do the work, right, you're trying to find an easy solution to a complicated problem. And it's just like when people go to the doctor um, and they, they want to get bypass surgery, okay? It's so uncomfortable. It's altering your body. But they know then they no longer have a choice but to eat less. So it'll force them to starve themselves, okay? Versus learning how to eat properly. But you know how many people come to me after they have gastric bypass because they're so malnourished? Because they can't eat enough food for them to supply their body. So it's actually very difficult and there needs to be proper supplementation because their stomach can't hold enough food for the nutrition. So these, these quick answers, we all want a quick fix to a problem that took our whole life to get this way. And again, it's not a judgment. Whatever you need to do for you, I love you and, and I support you 100%. But I don't want anyone to unnecessarily suffer that doesn't have to. So with how many women are having issues with breast implants and the more, um, the more transparent I've been, I've had women come to me and say they've already had one or two surgeries. So let's say that breast implants cost $4,000 initially to get, but none of your surgeries are covered if you have issues and 30% of women will need another surgery within the first year. That's pretty crazy, guys, because this isn't a small surgery. You're talking about going under completely for these procedures. So that's not factoring in the other costs. And then because my immune system has been compromised, the amount of money I spend on supplements is insane. I'm going to actually figure it out and break it all down because it's kind of mind-boggling but so necessary because I wouldn't be able to function if I wasn't really, really being dedicated to my supplement regimen and a lot of the herbs that I'm taking to support my immune system. So I just wanted to share um, kind of where I'm at that I am so grateful because you guys don't understand how many days I, I really just break down in tears because I, I, I just feel like I can't. I just feel like I can't do normal everyday things like make food. <laughs> You know, and I don't have a rigorous work schedule right now because I can't handle it. But when I come to teach and these, these people in my life that I work with in fitness, they don't know how much they inspire me every single day. They don't know how much that as hard as it can be for me to get here sometimes, they give me life. So if you're struggling, if you feel alone, if you feel isolated, you have to to get out and find energy. You have to borrow it <laughs> a little bit until yours reignites. It's like a pilot light going out, right? My pilot light goes out and I come here, they reignite it, and then I can remember what that fire feels like. Maybe because of my energy, it can't burn as long right now, but it will. But I will not forget what that fire feels like because of these people, because I love what I do. And I'm going to show that to you. This is um, the new round of size. It's my favorite dance so far. For anyone that's followed my journey the last year, um, I never had danced before a year and a half ago. And um, now I'm Beachbody's Instructor of the Year, the first ever. And I love to dance. I love to dance. So I'm going to show you that round. So if you come to one of my size live classes, this is the dance that you get to learn. And on September 24th, next Saturday, at Ludlow Fitness, I'm doing a class that anyone can join. So if you want to come, it's me, and I'm also doing a cardio kickboxing class with Sarah Alessandro, which if you don't know her, she's incredible. And this uh, event's going to be to raise money for my medical expenses as well. But you get to come learn this dance. So come learn this dance with me next Saturday. And uh, here's the dance. Hopefully I don't mess it up, but if I do, whatever. We'll all survive somehow, right? All right. Here we go.
guys. That is life for me. On the hard days, I'm so grateful that I can still move. I'm so grateful I've given myself the gift of life, right? I've lost 50 pounds. I don't take any medications. You can still have this. Don't give up because you can have this still. I'm not where I wanna be, but I get one step closer every single day. I love you, don't give up on yourself, okay? Find life. I love y'all. Hopefully I see you on the 24th at my event. Take care.